Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to break down some different passive income sources that I've been generating over the past few months, hopefully to help some people out. I kind of wish that I saw a video like this last year or two years ago, because then I would have a better understanding of how possible it is to actually earn passive income. I generally try to avoid using the words passive income because I think it's kind of a buzzword, kind of a, a catch word that a lot of people use without fully understanding what it actually is because I feel as though there's kind of this misconception that people view passive income as just like money falling from the sky and just growing on trees but realistically being pragmatic that's not how passive income really works and that's why some people like Gary Vaynerchuk uh, don't talk too lightly about passive income because I think there definitely is that disconnect with people when they think about passive income uh, it's not just money falling from the sky it's not just totally free money you're doing something up front to then reap the rewards of that work or that investment later on down the road. Uh, so that's what I wanna kinda clear up in this video and I'm gonna show you some of the different sources that I've been generating that are um, primarily passive income sources. We're not talking about anything that you might be doing uh, actively, what I might be doing with Mike cooking up some different things, but uh, I wanna break this down for you. If, if you're new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We try to help people make money, save money, and just kinda build uh, financial freedom and create financial freedom for themselves because I think that's something that schools don't really touch on very often actually almost never especially in high school I don't think I learned anything about personal finance I don't know why they force math and uh, English and science on you without even touching personal finance which is a kind of the root of a lot of people's issues throughout life uh, financial stress can really cause a lot of issues so hopefully this video can help you out a little bit uh, this I'm not making this video to brag or to sound conceited it's really just to show you what's possible uh, and kind of show that like passive income it is possible uh, it's not easy to achieve but if you can achieve it uh, it definitely is nice to have so I really do wish somebody made this video like two years ago and I watched this video two years ago because I think it would be helpful so for you people out there uh, who would find this to be helpful uh, good luck and uh, stick along hopefully this can help you out a little bit so the first really source of passive income that I've been generating actually turns out to be YouTube ad revenue from this channel now this wasn't I didn't really set out to have like the primary source of revenue from YouTube ad revenue um, my kind of philosophy behind YouTube and this channel is to try to provide value uh, and not really follow the money so much uh, and hopefully that'd be more obvious that that's the way that I'm going because if I was trying to squeeze money out of people, I think I would probably be uh, selling like thousand dollar online courses and just being sponsored and trying to just squeeze as much money out of this as possible. But that's not really the route that I like to take. That's just not really who I am. And hopefully that shows. Uh, if not, I'll try to show it more. But so it's about 50 some hundred dollars per month, uh, between five and six thousand dollars per month in total from January. Uh, this fluctuates slightly, but it's pretty steady uh, for the most part. Now with this, it's, it's primarily passive. And the reason why I would say that uh, is because I would say about 80% of the revenue right here from January is actually from 2018 videos. About 15% of that is from 2017 videos. I didn't make that many in 2017, but at least a few hundred dollars per month uh, comes from 2017 videos that I made. Uh, and then only about 5% from actual 2019 videos, videos that I made in this particular month. Uh, so a lot of it is fairly passive, but the whole idea behind this passive income is look, you're putting something up front and that's the, the misconception that people have. That's a disconnect where they think it's free money, but realistically you're either putting time up front which is what I did with some of these YouTube videos or you're putting money up front sometimes there's a third option as well but uh, you're either putting time or money up front to then reap the rewards of that work or that money input uh, later on down the road so you really have to have an input to then get an output later uh, unless like your grandma is giving you checks every month in the mail or something but uh, other than that you're gonna have to put something up front to then get a reward later so that's what I did with this YouTube channel uh, and it does feel fairly passive uh, but the thing is look because I didn't really put much work into it in January I was traveling I made like two or three videos maybe four uh, I'm probably gonna see the negative effects of that in February and in March and in April and throughout 2019 for not putting effort into it in uh, January in this particular month uh, so that's something that I'm gonna see in the future and that's something you have to keep in mind that's why YouTube is not 100% passive income it's not like uh, a real estate investment that maybe you get into and then hire somebody to manage the property and then 10 20 years later uh, you're, uh, it's very very passive income in a lot of cases if you have somebody managing the property and you can reap the rewards of that for a lifetime practically well with YouTube uh, it definitely has a lifetime value and it sort of fizzles out uh, over time so you want to keep that in mind but look 
look, not everybody wants to make YouTube videos. I didn't really want to make YouTube videos either. Um, so if you don't want to do that, there's some other sources of passive income that anybody can do as long as you have like a couple dollars in your name or some spare time uh, that I'm going to show you as well in this video. But these are just my personal experiences. This is just what I personally do. Uh, and like I said, hopefully this can just help somebody out watching this video. So uh, the next one, the, the next source of revenue actually comes from Amazon Associates. Now, what's interesting about this though, is that uh, I would say about 75% of this revenue here actually comes from old YouTube videos from like 2016 from these various other channels. I probably have half a dozen other channels that have like a few videos each that are reviewing like laptops and certain products uh, that most people don't know about uh, because I, I kind of just look like a fool. I was like 16, 17. This is like a couple years ago uh, when I made these videos, but they're still getting clicks and generating revenue from this. And this is a fairly passive income source. Um, I would only say about 25% of this almost $500 here comes from this channel. Uh, Amazon affiliates, if you're not familiar with it, we're not going to go too in depth because I think a lot of people do know how affiliate marketing works. But if you don't, essentially, uh, I promote products uh, on on like YouTube videos, for example, and then people will click on a link for uh, like, for, for example, this video right here, I'll probably have like a link to one of my favorite books down in the description. And then if you buy something through that link, I get a few percent commission. Like it's a very low commission, uh, but it's kind of strength in numbers strength and views uh, and especially when you're reviewing products product review channels can be really really uh, um, popular and can generate a lot of cash because if you get like 10,000 views on a product review video and you're really persuasive about a certain product you can make thousands of dollars from like 10,000 views uh, and and I'm being serious with that because I've done that with a couple of videos that I've had in the past where I'll make a review about a certain product and then tons of people will convert on that. Like for example, like a Wi-Fi router that I made on one of my other channels. Uh, and it got like a few thousand views, but the conversion rate on that was really high because people watch product reviews and then end up buying something. So that's just something that brings in almost $500 a month. It covers the majority of my rent, uh, which is pretty nice to have. So uh, that is one of the sources as well, but that is kind of tied to YouTube, uh, to some of my other channels. Uh, but it is fairly passive. So now let's get into the ones that anybody can really do. Uh, if you don't want to get into like the YouTube space, uh, you can do a couple things that I still get passive income from. So one of them is dividend payments. So uh, stocks pay dividends. If you're not familiar with that, I've made some videos about dividend stocks in the past, but essentially a lot of different stocks will pay you a certain percent, like three or four or 5% uh, uh, as a total value of your stock. Uh, for owning that company, for owning that company's stock. And so I have a dividend portfolio that I've been growing since I was 11 years old. I don't know how in the hell I ended up stumbling into investing in the stock market when I was 11. I got really lucky uh, that I was curious about it and actually pretty much at the bottom of the market, 2011, it was really low at the time. So over the past uh, about eight years or so, I've been building that up uh, and, and getting into it. Uh, it was, no, it was, it was more than eight years now. It's been about 10 years. It was 2009 to 2019. So 10 years of investing into the market. I, I was 11 years old. And so over that time, I was able to build up enough uh, dividend stocks where I'm getting just under $100 per month in dividend payments from these various different stocks. Uh, and, and this is averaged out over 12 months because some months I'll get like $20 in dividend payments. Other ones I'll get like $200. So it, it really depends on the months. But if you average it out, uh, it's, it's almost $100 a month in dividend payments. And that's something that anybody can do. You know, if you, if you buy uh, Pepsi stock, you might get a couple percent uh, interest on that stock over the course of a year. And you also get uh, probably over the long run, you're going to see growth in that stock as well. So that's something that I've gotten into when I was young and I've been building it up over time and I will continue to build it up and kind of eventually uh, hopefully the goal is that eventually you have enough in uh, investments where you can live off of that. And that's why the rich stay rich because they have so much money that they're getting these dividend payments or interest or uh, uh, things from these investments that they're able to never lose value in their money and they're able to live off of those interest payments or those dividends to never lose money and actually gain money in the long run. That's why the rich stay rich. And hopefully that's where I can get to eventually where I can build that up enough where I can live off of those investments. And that's uh, very passive as an income source. But like I said, you're putting money up front to then reap the rewards of it later. That's something you want to keep in mind with just about every passive income source. Now, another one that I think everybody should be doing, uh, if, if you don't want to get into stocks, you don't want to do YouTube, uh, one that I do that I think everyone should take advantage of is just by parking some cash in uh, a savings account that's offering a decently high interest rate compared to the rest of banks. So look, if you have an emergency fund, I think everybody should have an emergency fund, or uh, if you're a little bit wary of the stock market and you have some cash in like a bank account that's not earning any interest, 
I would consider putting it into something like a savings account, like uh, ones that are offered by like Marcus by Goldman Sachs has 2.25% interest over the course of a year. As of now, that's the interest rate that they're offering. It'll probably climb eventually in the future, uh, but 2.25% interest might not sound like a lot of money and maybe it's not, but uh, if you say have $20,000 in that account, 2.25, that's about like 450 some dollars per year, give or take a little bit. Uh, in over the course of a month, that's probably about almost $38. It's like 3750 per month. I don't know if I did that math right, but that's like 3750 per month uh, in free money, passive income from having money in a bank account. So I would definitely take advantage of something like that. That's like a few free pizzas at Pizza Hut, or you could pay your phone bill with that or, or your Wi-Fi bill uh, for just having some money in a bank account and kind of playing it safe putting some money into some uh, emergency fund that you can then use in the future. And look, if you don't have $20,000 to put into that account, even if you had $5,000 at 2.25% interest, you're still making almost $100 per year in just, um, it's over $100, it's like $112 uh, per year in interest rates. So that's something that I would consider doing uh, for everybody, just as an easy passive income source, kind of mindless, uh, you don't have to think about it very much, just park your cash in there and just generate some money over time. So another source of income uh, for myself actually comes from promoting certain products on something like this YouTube channel. So uh, generally speaking, I don't like to follow the money too much. I'd rather just kind of try to create valuable content and then the money follows later. Uh, but there are some products like investment products that I will use personally and because I'm using them and because I like them uh, I'll decide to promote them and I get affiliate commissions from some of those uh, now I would say out of the maybe like 15 or 20 different popular investing products like investing apps that there might be out there I only really promote four because I only really like four of them uh, other than like something like Vanguard or E-Trade that I still do like uh, so we're talking about M1 Finance uh, Robinhood which you you can invest in stocks for free on Robinhood, uh, Stash Invest, great company, and then Acorns. Those four I like promoting. Uh, other ones, there's ones that offer high commissions where if if I promote them and people click on the link, I might get like twenty or thirty dollars every time somebody signs up. But I just don't like them, and so because of that, I don't promote them. And that's just a personal choice. I think if you follow the money too much, uh, you can cause some harm to yourself and obviously to people who watch your videos possibly. Uh, so that's just what I personally do. But uh, that generates a decent amount of cash as well, almost $700 per month from just promoting those in the descriptions from my videos. I don't go too heavily on that. I don't push them too hard because I don't want to be uh, very like intrusive in that sense where I'm just kind of pushing stuff onto people. Uh, but those are some different passive income sources that I've set up that are generating uh, just a tad bit over $7,000 in January. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Like I said, I, I didn't make this video to try to brag or sound conceited. I really wanted to make this to show you like this is what's possible. I know when I was thinking about whether or not you can actually make passive income, I wasn't sure last year and two years ago. Uh, so I just essentially did like a year long experiment to see if it's possible. And I can tell you that it is possible. Uh, you have to put energy into it. I, the biggest tip I would say is work smarter and not harder. I think if you put your head down and grind for too much without actually thinking about the big picture, sometimes it can hurt uh, in the long run. That's just kind of my philosophy behind this. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, drop a like on the video if you found it to be helpful. Uh, and I'll see everybody next time.